everybody. This is your boy Kenneth reporting from the K2 Spot, giving you all a brand new video. And it's on an album that came out in February, but I didn't really hear nothing about it. But his name is Joe Ryan. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, producer, all of the above. He even raps too. But, um, you know, this is an album called 1879. Now, I know a lot of you guys, when you see the title of the album, you're going to think, why? Why are you saying 187 instead of 1879? It's not that. It's called 187. Now, it symbolizes the grind of him from traveling to his, you know, to his road of uh, stardom with his destiny from where he's originally from, Sheboygan, uh, Wisconsin, to Los Angeles, California. So, just in case if you're wondering what the title means, there you go. Now, this album has 13 tracks. Now, when you... Now, one thing I found out before, you know, before I get into the album, what it sounds like and everything, he was signed to Rex Rideout's um, production team, who's um, VP of Motown Records, and also he's managed by by the legend herself, Miss MC Light. So, shout out to both of them on that. So, hopefully y'all watch this video. I know I'm, I know I'm major late, because I... I know it came out February, but, you know, you just follow me on Twitter, Joe Ryan. So, big homie, you know what time it is. And then he also went by the name Jay Rilla, which I was like, okay. Like, I have nothing bad to say about that, but he's going by his government, Joe Ryan. But, okay, track number one is called Just Like a Song. Great way of starting the, song, the um, album out. I have nothing bad to really say about that. Now, track number two is the first single off this um, album called Ride or Die featuring Little Mama. Now, when you hear the song, it definitely has a flow to it. You know, it's one of those songs you just go, you can bop your head to. And I was pleasantly surprised with Little Mama. Her rap was on point. I feel like you heard the growth in her. And it kind of almost scared me. It kind of gave me, like, how Left Eye was. Even though I know she played Left Eye in the biopic for the TLC Crazy Sexy Cool movie. It, she kind of was giving me a little left eye kind of flavor, but she was trying to make it. She but she made it her own. But hey, that's just my opinion. What I thought. That's just what, what I was heard her flow. But I know that was just. I know little mama's um evolving, but that's why I felt a good song overall. Now boomerang, like I love that song. When I heard the song, it had me bopping. It made me think about a boomerang. You know how when you throw a boomerang. And you know how it's, it comes right back to you after you throw it, it comes right back at you. That's what came to my mind when I heard it. Now, um, the song Woman, very powerful track. I like how Joe just, he broke it down in that song, talking about women, you know, how women, sometimes they feel like they have to, they feel like they have to subject them. The ones that are kind of low self esteem they feel like they have to subject themselves. But he's saying basically, woman, you're important who you, you know, you're who you are. You're you're beautiful. You don't have to make yourself appeal to somebody that you're not. So I basically thought I was very honest. Now, um, the next track is called Two Pair of Shoes. I like that song. It gave me like a hip-hop feel, but at the same time R&B-ish. Where, you know, when you think about two pairs of shoes, you're thinking about, okay, you know, you're wearing your shoes, you know, wearing your house shoes when you... You know, when you're getting up and you know you're wearing your plain shoes when you don't go out to work or school or anything like that. You know, just talking about the different rows of stardom and how what you go through. Dealing with those two pairs of shoes. So, that's just what I got from it. And hopefully, you guys got the same thing off of it. Now, the interlude was very interesting. I like called, um, the interlude was called Famous featuring Jeremy Kirby. Very interesting. I wasn't, ain't nothing bad to say about it. It was just an interesting interlude. Now, Turn Up By Myself is the next track. Love that song. Gave me a bounce flow, but at the same time, it was very edgy at fun. Same thing with the song Never Meant to Hurt You, which I thought was one of those is honest records, but at the same time, it gives you that uh feeling. Like, it's one of those, like, you hear the song, but at the same time, it's honest, but at the same time, you can't criticize him at all. Now, another song I love to death is the song called Your Lovely Lovin'. That is a beautiful song. Loved it dearly. And it was a song that just popped in my head as a standout when I heard the track. So I couldn't really get upset about it. It was straight to the point from beginning to the end when you hear the song. Amazing job. Now, this is one of the best tracks right here in my opinion. And I don't know 
what Joe and them, his uh, team may be doing, because I think they, I don't know how they doing with the promotion right now, since it's been out for a bit. But this song, Picture Perfect, um, Game For You, I love that. It's an edgy song. It's for the ladies, but I think the guys will love it too. You know, it's a, it's to the ladies, but I feel like the fellas will love that song. It's something, you know, you, you know, it's hip hop, but at the same time it's edgy, but at the same time it's very romantic. You know, it's like a, very sexy, edgy type of um, song, if you know what I mean. But I think everybody would like that song. Now, Beautiful is an amazing song. When I heard it, I was like, okay, very nice, very flow. And just from this songwriting, especially when you get into the last two songs, like Looking for Love, All I Want Is You featuring Ayana. Now, just from Joe's writing, producing, rapping, he's in a, he does a lot of that on this album, but you really feel his growth and just feel like the struggle and the pain, but at the same time, the happiness of, you know, getting your um, stardom, especially with this being his debut album. It came out in February. But I feel more like when he's going to continue to grow more and more. And then a lot of you guys may not know this, and that's the end of the album right there. A lot of you guys, just to give you a um, starter, he's, this is not really his first time out there. He's written for Legacy. He's on... um. Leela James's new album that's out today also on uh, July 8th on the song called Save Me. So you have to check him out on, on Leela James's album Fall For You. Definitely make sure you guys get that album also. But make sure you also get 1879, this album from Joe Ryan. That's been out since February. It's out on iTunes. Make sure you end this on Amazon, you know, MP3, the music part. Make sure you guys support him. Make sure you get the album. And definitely support my boy. He's also on Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow him at Joe Ryan I I I, which is three times, which is J O E R Y A N. And you just put the um two uh, three I's I I I, which is three times. And you can follow him. That's his name on Instagram and Twitter, like I said. If you want to keep up with your boy right here, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at K Tooks. Be sure that you're watching the K Tooks Spot. It does have a Twitter page at K Tooks Spot. And also make sure you guys thumbs up the video by liking this video. Make sure you share the video. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. You definitely won't be disappointed. And I definitely keep it real. Have amazing reviews on everything that you see. And you can push the subscribe button here. Or you can push to go through the link right here. And also make sure the other link you see right here. You subscribe to Joe Ryan's on um, YouTube channel. Because he has amazing stuff on there. And if you want to get to know him as an artist and as a person, definitely check out his YouTube channel. Subscribe on there also. And that's about it. Comment. Let me know what you guys think about his album. And I definitely want to hear your feedback after you hear it. 1879. Let me know what your favorite tracks are. Overall, what you think about him as an artist. You know, be honest. After you hear it, I'll definitely be honest. Now, this is your boy Kenneth. Sign off from the K2 spot. You will see me again later. So, bye-bye and be blessed.